think you're good now. Are we on? How's my hair? Is my hair okay? It's a little warm here in Mar-a-Lago today. Let me check. Let me, oh, let me. Oh, by the way, if you ever see my cables or anything, let me know. Let me know. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is great. Am I on delay? Am I on delay? It'll come in a little delayed. Okay, a little delayed. You know what we should do? We should probably tilt the camera down a little bit. Just a little lower towards my head. Uh, that'll be, you'll have to do it by the, um, not there, not there. There's a handle, stand up, stand up. Um, there's a handle right there, hold that arm. And then um, that little dial where your other hand is. See that, uh, yep, right there. Loosen that, it's, a very, it's very heavy, it's very heavy. Bring it down just a little bit. Bring it down, you can bring it down some more. Oh, I'm not seeing it in real time, am I? I like that though. I like I like the uh, I like the way this looks. There we go. To make sure you tighten that up so it doesn't like yeah. right in the middle drop, right in the middle drop. Okay, fantastic. I look great. The uh, the sign looks great. By the way, folks, this is the new Trump seal when I'm back in office. When I'm back in office, but I want to welcome everybody here to my uh, very first, very first YouTube, YouTube uh, press conference, because they kicked me off a long time ago, but my friend is letting me use his channel, John Domenico, great guy, fantastic guy. If you're watching and you're, you don't subscribe, you should subscribe. He puts out wonderful, wonderful content about me, about me, because he loves me. He absolutely loves me. It's true. It's true. And uh, for all of you who are tuning in, I want to make sure my hair looks good. We've got the lighting set up. By the way, by the way, this is the press room at Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago. So I miss the press room at the White House so much. I, uh, I, I built one here. I built one here. And when I'm back in office, I won't have to go to Washington. I was just in Washington to be arraigned again to be arraigned again, and sadly, that place is, well, what a mess. I don't want to use a curse word, it's, but it's a blank hole. It's a blank hole, and I think you know what that means. I think you know what that means. But I know we have a lot of people on. I'm being told by my team, there's over five million people watching this right now. But if it's on your computer, don't be fooled by the low numbers because it's the uh, leftist radical Democrats Lowering the numbers to make me look bad, but I look fantastic. You've seen my rallies, huge crowds, amazing people. They're telling me there's hearts, hearts coming up in the, uh, in the chat, in the chat. And no, everyone knows I love to chat. I mean, no, one, no one chats like I chat because, you know, no one was chatting before I was chatting. Now everybody's chatting. Now everyone's chatting. They even invented a, a, a artificial intelligence, chat a GTO. Chat, chat GTO, a lot of people are using that. But you don't have to have artificial intelligence for me because I have real intelligence because I'm a stable genius. I'm a stable genius and I can think about anything instantly and I can declassify. I'm still declassifying stuff, which is amazing, which is absolutely amazing. So if you have any questions you want to ask me in the next hour, in the next hour, now is the time to do it. We've got a lot of people here. We've got a lot of press. We've got a lot of press. Uh, is everyone seeing this? Is everyone seeing it? Is, uh, is it going out, as they say? Yes. It's going out. Fantastic. We have a great team here. And we have reporters. We, we have a lot of people I know. We've got the uh, fake news. CNN is right here. We have my friends, kind of, kind of friends at Fox. They got sued because they told the truth. It's sad because when you tell the truth now, uh, it's very sad because you end up getting sued for the truth, for the truth. And I, I have my indictment right here. Here's my, is it upside down? Here's the indictment. It's a lot of lies. It's a lot of lies. It's amazing they put so many lies into 45 pages. It's true. But I'm very excited. Do we have any questions to get started? Over here, over here, Fox News. Oh, wait, that was Fox News. Who, oh, right, News Network. Go ahead. What's the first thing you'll do from prison, sir? Uh, first thing I would do is make sure that whoever has to go to that place gets a wonderful three-bedroom suite uh, and uh, unlimited Diet Coke. 
unlimited Diet Coke, and of course, some really, really good assistant people. Uh, but I don't want to be there alone. If I have to go, I'd like to have Rudy there because he just he says yes to everything I say, which is which is fantastic. But I am not going to jail. I'm not going to prison. Everyone wants to see me in an orange jumpsuit. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Maybe a red one because you know because it's MAGA, but never an orange one. All right, next question over here. Anybody? Do you have a question for me? From the TikTok people? Yeah, what's the first thing you're going to do when you're president again? Oh, when I'm president again, I'm going to lock him up. I'm locking everybody up. I'm locking up Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. He's probably walking around the White House right now. Oh, where am I? Malarkey. Sarsaparilla. Popcorn. Oh, oh, come on, man. You know what? That guy, Well, maybe he's too old. Maybe he's too old. Wait, maybe we'll just put him in an assisted living place and he can't leave. You know what I mean? He doesn't know where he is right now, if you know what I'm saying. All right, do we have another question? Question over here. Will you ask Congress to amend the Constitution to allow you to be president for life? What prison will you want to run your presidency from? Well, first off, I want to go with the first question first, because when I am back, in office, and I will be back in office because we're going to win in a Trump slide because I'm getting rid of the Electoral College and replacing it with Trump University, and I will do something that needs to be done. I will have a totally Republican House and Senate, and we are going to amend the Constitution. In fact, we're going to shred the current Constitution. I had said about suspending it before, and we're going to start from scratch with a new Constitution, where the Second Amendment is the First Amendment, and the First Amendment will probably be like the Fifth Amendment, because they go by an importance like that. But maybe we'll get rid of the First Amendment, because people say mean things about me. Mean things. But then, when I am back in office, I'm not leaving office. Unlimited. I'm going to be president for life. President for life. Everybody say it with me. Write it in the chat. President for life. President for life. I like the I like the sounds of that. I like the sounds of that. President for life. And guess what? Even the Democrats love it. I got a call yesterday from crying Chuck Schumer who said, I hope you get life. I hope you get life. So he's he's on board with me. He's on board with me. So that'll be absolutely fantastic. That way I can get everything done. I want to get done. We're going to finish the wall. We're going to have Trump care. It'll be the greatest health care system ever. We'll have our army will be bigger than ever. You know, we have 900 bases around the world. Let's go for 1,000. Let's go for 1,000. And every, every base will be renamed Trump. It'll be the Trump base. Trump base in China, Trump base in Japan. We have a question over here. Go yes. ahead. Who will be your vice president? You know what? I don't need a vice president. I don't need a vice president. I am so good. I am so good. I can be both president and vice president. I think we saw what happened with Pence. He's too honest. He's too honest. And he shouldn't be a vice president. But if I had to go with a vice president, I'm thinking maybe who's the one in Arizona? Christy, Le uh, what's her name again? Carrie Lake? Carrie Lake, is that one? Carrie Lake. I like Carrie Lake. She's good. She's got the tomboy haircut. I find that very attractive. Very attractive. She's been spending a lot of time, a lot of time at Mar-a-Lago. But you know who would be the best vice president? My daughter, Ivanka. My daughter, Ivanka, who sadly has me in the friend zone right now. But we're going to rectify that. I think if I could become president, she'd be very, very happy. Very, very happy. I mean, I was president. And I'm technically still president, but if I can get back in the White House, because Sleepy Joe's walking around in circles, keeping me out of there, it's sad. It's really, really sad. All right, do we have another question? And who's ever running the air conditioner here at Mar-a-Lago, please lower it. These lights are very, very hot. Very, very hot. All right, go ahead. Do we have a question from the uh, TikTok people? Uh, most of the questions are about your shoes and why oh. you're wearing such horrible shoes. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Can I, should I take my shoes off? Is that an issue? Uh, there, that's the topic, hot topic. Do you, do you want to? Uh, Jesus Christ. Here, I'll, get, I'll just kick them out of the way. I'll just kick them out. There we go. <laughs> get rid of the shoes because people are upset. This is the problem with this country or whatever country they're coming from. Can you let me know where people are coming from on that one? Oh, they're all over. They're all over? What, what country are the TikTok people from? And on this side, I'm sure with the, uh, the YouTube, the YouTube people, I'm sure we've got lots and lots of people from, uh, the, uh, from England. And by the way, why does the UK have so many names? 
England, jolly old England, Britannia, Britannica. You know, there's too many names. We have Britain, Florida, Georgia, Florida, Australia. Georgia, Australia. You know, everybody on TikTok and on YouTube. You know, I love, I love Australia. And in fact, if you are in Australia. Uh, I'm going to be on a show called Planet America. They just started their new season, and I will be, well, I'll be myself, Trump. I'll be Trump on Planet America every Friday night at 9 p.m. We just started a new season, and we're going to run right up to the election, which I'm going to win, which I'm going to win. I want to say hi to my people in Florida. Great state, fantastic state. You know, I'm not crazy about Ron DeSanctimonious. I'm not crazy about him. Ron the traitor. That's what I call Ron to Satan. That's what I call him. He's ruining that state too. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. We have Austria in the house. We have Austria in the house, and we have the oh Austria. Wow, I love Austria. I love the Austrian chocolates, and we have uh, we have the landscapers here. That's great. <laughs> that's fantastic timing. That's great timing. They just pulled up here at Mar-a-Lago. The and by the way, all of my people, all of the Mexicans doing my landscaping, which you can clearly hear, because the dogs will start barking soon, the security dogs. That'll be really great. That'll be fantastic. Uh, but uh, the people from Florida, people from Georgia, we're going to fix Georgia. We, we, we're doing what we can with flight. We have a question over here. Question. Where is your wife, Melania? That's a great question. And as you know, uh, Melania loves to play hide-and-go-seek. She loves to play hide-and-go-seek. And we have a, um, we've been in the middle of a three-week Hide and go seek marathon, marathon. And uh, uh, somehow the ankle bracelet that we put on her came off or she cut it off, we're not sure. But we're sure she's somewhere and she's having a great time because we can see the, uh, we can see, do you want to lock them up? Want to lock them up? These are the security dogs. We obviously have a radical leftist Democrat on the property right now. And this is why the dogs are going bananas. But the uh, we also have the uh, landscapers here. It's a very busy day. It's a very busy day here at Mar-a-Lago. Very busy. And we have a question over here. Question over here. Trump, how does it feel being the greatest golfer in history? Well, you know what? It's such a great question. I'm sure that's from one of my very good friends. Uh, I am such an incredible golfer. I should have turned pro. I could have been pro. I could have easily been a pro golfer, but I have to tell you that to be a pro golfer, I wouldn't have been able to make America great again. But as soon as I'm back in office and I have everything under control, which I will, which I will, I'll start golfing pro at all of my different golf courses. Do we have another question? If you can hear that, that's my tremendous landscaping team here at Mar-a-Lago. And let me tell you something about these guys. All legal immigrants. Even though none of them speak uh, the English, it's all legal. It's all legal. Uh, we have a question over here. Uh, what will you do to secure the border when flying cars are prevalent? Uh, what will I do to secure the border when flying cars are prevalent? Well, I think we all know I, I practically finished the border, and then as soon as I was in office, Joe Biden tore the wall down. But what we need to do is have some kind of a force field on the top of the wall that these flying cars, which, believe me, they're coming, folks. They're coming. I've seen them in the movies all the time. If you saw Total Recall, the new one, not the old one with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the new one with Colin Farrell and Jessica Biel. Is Jessica Biel beautiful? Wow. What a knockout. What a knockout. And so's the British girl who's in it, too. I think Kate Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale. She's very attractive. Two totally different looks. Two totally different looks, but wonderful, wonderful, attractive women who probably will never, you know, have to cross in and out of the, the border because they're so beautiful. They want to stay here in the United States. But when you have flying cars, that's a whole new thing we're going to have to deal with. But unfortunately, we'll have to shoot them down. We'll have to shoot them down, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We always figure it out, folks, because these these people who bring the, uh, the the Mexicans in under the wall, over the wall, through the wall, they're very smart. They're very smart, but we're smarter. We're smarter because we have college educations. And I graduated top of my class at the University of Pennsylvania, which many of you, many of you know. You know that. You know that. Top of my class, I was magna sum laude. 
or loudest. Magna sum loudest, I think they said about me. That's how high I was. All right, do we have a question over here? Um, yeah, we want to know, have you seen the Barbie movie, and what did you think of the Barbie movie? I have not seen the Barbie movie, but I've been told by many people, many people, that it's very low T, very low T, which means it's a low testosterone. Low testosterone, uh, really, I think it's just low Trump. If there was more mentions of me in that movie, I think it would have done very well. At this point, it's been a massive bomb. It only made, what, 55, $500 million. $500 million at this point. Can we possibly take care of them? Maybe put them in the uh, the other room, or the bathroom or something? They are in the other room. They are in the other room. This is the security dogs we have here, folks. This is security dogs. We have a question. We have a question. Go ahead. Well, we've been working on uh, Mount Rushmore for many, many years. A lot of people, what, not me, I didn't, I didn't suggest it, but a lot of people want me on Mount Rushmore immediately, immediately. I know it takes time to carve stone, but I think we can get me up there very quickly, very quickly, and I think we should. I think we should. Right now, I've got uh, two impeachments, Three indictments. No other president has those numbers. I've been putting numbers up on the board so incredibly. It's fantastic, I have to tell you. All right, over here, the, the TikTok people. Nothing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why are you so orange? Why am I so orange? Trying to change the uh, filter. Oh, the filter? And they, yeah, that's the filter, the folks. Orange. That's the filter. That's the filter. I'm not that orange. I'm standard orange. I'm standard orange. You know, my usual orangeness. But I think orange is a fantastic color, and I think it looks good on you me. You have 2,000 people on this. Wow, screen. that's incredible. Hello, 2,000 TikTok people. How many people we have on here? Uh, we oh. have uh, four hundred and fifteen concurrent viewers. Wow. 1,000 views right now. 1,000 views. Remember, everybody, everybody who's watching here, who's watching there, you have to subscribe. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe on YouTube. Um, we want, for my friend whose channel this is, because they won't allow me on YouTube, we want John to get 100,000 subscribers today. Today. And we need you. We have another question. Another question from the fake news. From the fake news have in the back. Have you replaced the stolen boxes? Have I replaced the stolen boxes? Well, they, they, they came in and raided my house, and they took a lot of the boxes. I didn't. I do have a few. I did save a couple. I did save a couple. We have them here somewhere, and they're up in the other office. Uh, but we have a few of the stuff. Because, you know, they took everything. They took the documents. They took my golf shirts. They took my golf tees. They took my press clippings. You know, why do they need my press clippings? Why do they need my press clippings? Just because we mix them in with nuclear secrets doesn't mean they get to keep my golf shirts. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. He's one of the golfers here. He's the pro. He's the pro here at Mar-a-Lago. Is the pro. Okay, what do we got? We got anything else? The hot topic of discussion on TikTok is that you're not wearing shoes. I'm not wearing <laughs> shoes. I don't even know how the hell they see my feet. Do you want to bring me my shoes? I'm trying to be comfortable. I'm trying to be comfortable. We got dogs barking. We've got Mexicans blowing stuff. It's, it's, real, it's chaos here. But you know what? I thrive in chaos. I thrive in chaos. Three indictments. Do you see me sweating? Well, I am a little, but that's because my lager is a little hot. But listen, listen. How many people do you know who can be involved in so many legal issues? And I'm innocent, by the way. I'm very innocent. I'm the most innocent person. You know, in New York, when I went to the first indictment, which is, you know, the first indictment, the judge there who hates me, total non-Trumper, he said to me, he said, Mr. Trump, Sir, Mr. Trump, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? And I said, Your Honor, I said, El Judge Corrupto, Judge Juan La Cucaracha, I said, I am the most innocent person in the history of innocence, the most unguilty person, incredibly unguilty, maximum unguiltiness. It's really, really incredible. They're right at the door, they're right at the door. I hope it's not another FBI raid. Another FBI raid. Can we go to the question? What do you think about Pence? What do I think about Pence? Here's what I think about Pence. Hold on. Let the uh, the Mexicans uh, get out of my doorway here. It's unbelievable. Uh, what I think about Pence is very simple. He's too honest. 
He's too honest. He's like a he's like a um, a Boy Scout. Is that? Oh, I got a hat. By the way, I just got a hat on TikTok. We've requested twenty hats to reach your goal. You received one. I received one. Yes. We need more hats on TikTok. If you get twenty, you're. I told them you do the YMCA. Day. If I get twenty hats, if I get twenty hats on the TikTok, because we're going out on a lot of different platforms, folks. The technology is amazing. Uh, we get. We got another hat. Yeah, don't, yeah, no, 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 this is my pre-YMCA dance, my pre-YMCA dance. Uh, but uh, as far as Pence is concerned, you know what? He's too, he's too honest. He was a Boy Scout. He was an Eagle Scout. I wasn't a Scout. I wasn't a Scout. I was, well, actually, I was a Boy Scout, a uh, Cub Scout, but I got in trouble because I ate a brownie. So that, that got me kicked out. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't have to be like, you know, the, they, they do this thing in the Boy Scouts, you know, the Scouts honor. I don't need that. I do something totally different. But Mike is Mike, and I have to tell you something. He's very disloyal, very disloyal. And that's why, that's why his rallies have like two people. His wife, who he calls mother. Isn't that weird? That's weird. He calls his wife mother. That's very strange, I think. You know, and uh, okay, uh, real news, real news, Fox, go ahead. What is your strategy for your trial? Gee, that's, this is a good question. This is a good question. Well, first of all, the strategy for my trial is I, I pleaded not guilty, the least guilty person in the history of guiltiness. You all know that. You all know that. But I have to tell you something. I'm going to say this is full of lies. I'm going to do that scene from the movie with Al Pachinko. Al Pachinko, you're out of order. You're out of order. Judge, you're out of order. And I think that'll work. I think that'll work. And of course, I have the best attorneys. And, um, you know, and it's true, some do leave because they want money. And I'm not going to give people money. Do you know what I mean? These attorneys make so much money. They say, oh, he didn't pay me. Well, you knew that going in. You knew that going in. But we have great attorneys, fantastic attorneys. I wish we could have some TV attorneys. They would be much better. Like, is it, was it Matlock, a TV attorney? Wouldn't he be great? I think Matlock would be fantastic. But that's our defense. Innocence, and by the way, I am innocent, and I'm innocent until proven guilty, but I won't be proven guilty because it's all lies. It was a perfect phone call for the impeachment. This whole thing, they said, I, you know, they're the ones that are doing uh, voter interference right now, election interference. I didn't interfere. All I asked for was 11,780 votes. That's not interference. That's not interference. All I wanted was those votes. I said, go find those votes. If you can't find them, that's not illegal. And by the way, it's not illegal to ask. It's not illegal to ask. And so I asked. You know what I mean? It's like when you go to a car dealership and you, you want the free undercoat. You know, Can I have the undercoat for free? And they might say, no, no, you can't. But I feel that you should always ask. The worst thing that can happen is maybe, maybe somebody says no. But it wasn't illegal. It wasn't illegal. Ask Rudy. He's a tremendous, he's a, what was that? Money. Oh, I got money. You're I got money. You're your goal. You just reached 10 hats. I just got 10 hats, which means that's more money for my <laughs> re-election fund, and I have hats, and I'm going to do the YMCA dance, but I can't play the music because YouTube will arrest me. Let me tell you something. You think the DOJ is bad? Wait until you put up copyrighted material on YouTube. <laughs> they get you in nine seconds, folks. It's unbelievable how fast these people can find out a, a copyright claim. It's really, we were doing a test the other day, and uh, literally, I like, it was ding, I was like, what's this? And I was like, oh, these songs are illegal. I was like, wait a minute, the songs aren't illegal, they're, they're copyrighted, but I didn't have the copyright, which I think is terrible. And Rolling Stone, stop asking me to stop playing your music. Go ahead, next question. Are your donations being used in a proper and legal way? Absolutely, proper and legal way, proper and legal way. They're being used for legal defense. That's the best way. We've spent $40 million on legal defense, and I think that's very, very reasonable. Listen, folks, if you're sending me money, you have to realize most of it is going to go to my legal fees, okay? Before I came into office, I was involved in 3,500 lawsuits. You can look that up. Now I've got these ridiculous indictments and arraignments and all this other stuff and I have to have I have to have legal representation and it's not free even though I don't pay them it's not free oh we have another this is great go ahead oh we did did we get another hat 
Well, you're 80% to your eighty percent to my goal. Why am is coming? Why am I going to the question though? I want to go to the question. What's your thoughts on Tucker Carlson? Uh, oh well, you know what? Hold, the, here's the thing with here's the thing with Tucker. Here's the thing with Tucker. I liked him until he stopped liking me. Then I stopped liking him because you know what? He's a rich kid. He's a rich kid. Do you know he's part of the Swanson family? He made a lot of money. He made a lot of money. And don't wear bow ties. No one wears bow ties. No one wears bow ties. But when he was good to me, he was good to me. And when he was not so good, he was not so good. But that I didn't like. But he did show a lot of the January 6th videos. And he showed the good stuff. He showed the good stuff, not the bad stuff. No one wants the bad stuff. That's a downer. We want uppers, folks. We want uppers. We have a question over here. We reached our goal. Oh, hold on. We just, on the tickety talk. I just found out we reached the goal, so I have to do. Uh, uh, YMCA, yeah, YMCA. I'm trying to. Fun to stay at the YMCA. Da 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 YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Okay, I think if we if we hold it right there, if we hold the line, I won't get a copyright claim. Okay, let's move it. Hold on, I hold on. I need a little water. I need a little water. Hold on. So we're gonna set a new goal. Instead of the YMCA dance, what should we make you do? Uh, macho man. You want to eat something? Macho do man. Wanna... Do we have a cheeseburger? We could I love a cheeseburger. <laughs> I love a cheeseburger. That would be great. We'd have to go get it. We'd have to go get it. Okay, where are we? We could ask them what they want you to do. Okay, ask them. I mean, we're kind of limited here at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> it's only a luxury hotel. All right, what do we have? For, do we have a question? How's my hair holding up? How's my hair? Oh, hold on. Steve Bannon just sent me something. Steve Bannon just sent me something. What's he saying? You ready? Uh, oh, Steve Bannon sent me a photo of me. Isn't that great? Look at that. Steve Bannon sent me a photo of me doing this, doing this. Isn't it? It's like infinity. It's like infinity. It's really incredible. All right. I'm refreshed. I'm refreshed. I love dancing. I have to tell you. All right. In the back. In the back. Question. Uh, Mr. Trump, if you were president in 24, how will relations with India be? Oh, this is such a fantastic. Who asked that question? This um, is such a great question. Rudacrash Gondar. Rudacrash. Oh, Rudacrash. I love Rudacrash. I love his brother, Ludacris, who lives here in the States. But Rudacrash, I'm so glad you asked me this question. Did you know that India has a billion people? Did you know that? No one talks about that. No one talks about that. But who went to India? What president went to India? Me. I went to India when I was president. They had a fantastic rally for me with Modi, who I think is still the PM. I'm pretty sure he was great. I like Modi. Good guy. Great guy. This, we went to a cricket stadium. We went to a, they love crickets over in India. Did you know that? They love crickets. They love crickets so much they build stadiums for the crickets. But it was 100,000 people. Isn't it amazing? My greatest rally ever was in India. The place stunk. I mean, it smelled like curry. But the Indian people are such great people. And when I say India, Indians, I mean the dot, not the feather, just so everyone knows what I'm talking about. Because the Native Americans are incredible, but they're not from there. But the Indian people, such great people, smart people, hardworking people. And Nikki Haley, who worked for me, who's now running against me, do you believe this? By the way, her name? is not Nikki Haley. Look it up. It's Rajneesh something. Oh, and the other guy, another Indian's running against me. You know what the biggest import of export of India is? Indians. It's incredible. And we have the largest population of Indians outside of India because they're very, very smart people. Not as smart as me because I'm a stable genius. But I love the Indian people. Next question. Way in the back. Celestial Dragon requesting talk about China. Celestial, uh, cele oh, I know Celestial Dragon. Hello, Celestial Dragon. Love your stuff. Listen, listen, here's the thing about China. I think we talked about China many, many times. You know, I love, 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 love China and the Chinese people. But I have to say, 
terrible people. Great takeout, terrible people. Not the people of China, but the leaders of China. You know what I mean? But the food is incredible. I love Chinese food. The food is so amazing. The General Tso's, you love the General Tso's. The General Tso's, you know, don't we love the General Tso's? We ordered, a matter of fact, can we have that for dinner tonight? We're gonna have the General Tso's for dinner today. The General Tso's is so good. It's so good. They, I don't know what they do to these chickens. I don't know what they do to these chickens. It's like Colonel Sanders, KFC. What are these military guys doing to these chickens? You know what I mean? That b between General Tso's and Colonel Sanders, they make the best chicken. But China, China, China has been working against us. And when I'm back in office, by the way, Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping, he's the, he's the, he's the president for life. It's working out very, very well for him. Next question. Sally asks, who is the best looking girl at Fox News? Who's the best looking? That's a great question. You know, I never thought it was Megyn Kelly. I never thought it was Megyn Kelly. Uh, Angelie Earhart, very good in the morning. But there's a girl on now. Who's the one who used to work for Bush? Perino? Dana Perino? I think she's very attractive. I think she's very attractive. She's got that kind of serious, like when she's 100, she's going to be uh, really incredibly attractive. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know who is the hottest newscaster, female, by the way. I don't want Brian Kilmeade on the list or Steve Ducey. But who is the hottest female at Fox right now? I'm going to go with uh, Dana Perino. She's on the five with Greg Gutfeld. And whoever the liberal is on the five, they got to get rid of her. She stops, she makes up, she uses far too much logic. Far too big. You can't have logic in those kind of discussions. She's got to go. She's got to go. All right, we have another question. Go ahead. Oh, what makes your blood boil? What makes my blood boil? So many things. So many things. This indictment makes me my blood boil. The last indictment makes my blood boil. The indictment before that makes my blood boil. I make a perfect call. Perfect call. And they indict me. They indict me for a perfect call. All I said was, hey, do me a favor. Do me a favor. What's wrong with that? That's business, folks. That's business. What was the second indictment for? I kind of forget. I for oh, oh, January 6th. So the second indictment was January 6th. I didn't tell those people to do that. I didn't tell those people. They went down on their own just because they all had, you know, Trump flags and Trump T-shirts and Trump this and Trump that. You know, notice no one had Trump wine. By the way, you can still get Trump wine. It's fantastic. They carried a total wine. Total wine. Go ahead. Is it true you're still friends with Putin? I'm very good friends with Putin. I call him V-Poots. You know, he calls me. and I, Sometimes, like, if we if we're going somewhere, I'm like, so what are you wearing tonight? He's like, I'm wearing uh, this suit. With the, he wears the same thing all the time. But the funny thing is, I wear the same thing all the time. We have so much in common. We have so much in common. Did you know that Russia, Russia, I love the United States. I love the United States. But it's only four time zones. It's only four time zones. Russia has 11 time zones. And he's doing a great job. And everybody in Russia... I have some Russian people here. Uh, everybody, right? Everybody in Russia loves Putin. Everybody, everybody. And that's the way it should be here. So we need to get rid of the people who don't like me, who don't like me, and just have a country of people who love the president, which is me, and not the other president, who I'm going to jail as soon as I'm in. Remember my old, remember the, the last time when we first was running in 2016? Uh, what did I say? Lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her. Well, this time it's going to be lock him up. We're going to lock him up. And we're probably going to lock some women up, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have another question. Go ahead. What's your message to Barack Obama? Oh, my message to Barack is don't go on the campaign trail. As we get closer to the election, Barack, don't go on the campaign trail. No one likes you. No one likes you in your tan suits and your open collared shirts and you, you know, your swagger. People don't like that. People don't like that. They like me. They like me. Did you ever have 50, 60, 75,000 people at one of your rallies? I don't think so. We broke Elton John's attendance records. Did you know that? I don't remember you doing that. So I would say stay out of it. Let Sleepy Joe stay in the basement and do another ridiculous campaign where he doesn't show up at anything. Can you believe this guy? Can you believe people voted for Sleepy Joe uh, what, three years ago now? Three years ago now? You know he's like 100. 
right? You know that, right? He is so old, they stopped buying green bananas at the White House. It's true. He is so old, they discontinued his blood type. Joe Biden has no blood. They don't make that blood anymore, but they make plenty of my blood because my uncle, John Trump, look it up, was the top professor at MIT for 40 years. He was a super genius. I'm a stable genius. He's a super genius. And his blood is my blood. And my blood is his blood. And this land is your land. It was made for you and me, mainly, mainly me. We have another question. Uh, Dak 100, one, two. Sir, Mr. President, hmm. How many red ties do you own, and can I borrow a couple? Well, I have right about now, I have about 25, and I like to break it up, right? I like to break it up. I have some great Trump ties that are blue, powder blue, light blue, and then all the reds. The red, only one color, only one color. But the funny thing is, when I wear another color tie or a striped tie, everyone loses their mind. They lose their mind. Oh, where's the red, sir, 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 President Trump, sir? I wanted to see you in the red tie, sir. So I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck with the red tie, but I, I'm much more stylish. And I think I look good in blue because it brings out my eyes. Brings out my eyes. We have another question from the leftist uh, reporter. From TikTok. Uh, um, TikTok. What job do you see yourself doing in prison? Uh, well, I'm not going to go to prison, but I would see myself as the warden. If I was in prison, I would probably be in charge or a gang. I think I'd be great with a gang because I have a lot of people who follow me. So I would probably be a very good gang leader. And I see myself on the bench, you know, like pressing a lot of weight, you know. And there's these things called, somebody told me about that. They're called prison squats. We you put your hand, you go like this. You go, they're called prison squats. And I thought, I could do that because I have very strong legs from thousands of rounds of golf. Thousands of rounds of golf. Which, somebody asked about me becoming a professional golfer. I think that's a great idea. As soon as I'm back in, president for life, I'm going to become a pro golfer and win. I'm going to win. I'm going to probably win everything. Do we have another question? Yes, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Everyone asks, what new skill would you like to learn in prison? Well, the new skill, if I had the time, because everyone says leaders are readers. Leaders are readers. But I don't read. I don't read. And the people who are readers, I'm not that impressed with, but maybe the skill will be reading. Maybe the skill will be reading and uh, hiding boxes of documents better. I'm sure there's a lot of criminals. Because, you know, when you go to prison, you learn from other criminals. You know what I mean? You can learn. That's what people say. That, that, and that's why I want to do prison reform. That's why I want to do prison reform. You know what I mean? Especially for, like, people with political things. You know what I mean? You should let them out. You know, home, home confinement would really be better. We have another question. Stallion asks, do you like Scotland? Do, oh, I love Scotland. I have my great, tremendous, fantastic uh, uh, course over there. It's an amazing course, fantastic course. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but Goff was invented in Scotland. A lot of people, you probably don't know, you, you now know that, because it was a gentleman only um, forbidden ladies, something like that. I forget the, uh, the thing, because golf is an acronym. It's an acronym. But I love my course. If you're over in Scotland, go visit my course. We have another question. Yeah, Army Guy wants to know, what will you do for the military? Oh, listen, no one loves the military the way I love the military. I know more than all of the generals combined. I went to military high school. I've learned so much. I'm pretty much like whatever the highest ranking officer is, that's me. That's me. That's how smart I am about these kind of things. I got rid of, um, I got rid of some very nasty people. Very nasty people. And for the military, I'm going to give everybody a raise. Everyone's going to get a truly amazing raise, and we're going to make the world much safer so you guys don't have to worry. And, and the ladies, too. I know there's a lot of women in the military in all facets of the military. So the military is always on my mind. You know, George Bush says he's, you know, he brings a lot of the military down to his, his place. But I'll do that, too. I'll do that, too. Go ahead. Oh, he's back. He's okay. Asked it three times. Will you work with aliens for technology advancement if you are elected, considering they are less smarter than you? Oh, yes, absolutely. The aliens, uh, they, they, right before I left the office, they showed me the photos of the alien, the non biologic 
kind of stuff. The, the aliens are smart, but they're not that smart. I think they're really smart in time travel and uh, getting through space. But for some reason, their spaceships can travel millions and millions of miles, but they just can't high, handle high, uh, high powered wires. They get tripped up on that, and then they end up crashing. And they end up crashing, showing that they're not that smart. But we're going to take some of their technology and we're going to use it to our advantage. Because believe it or not, we're the only country with the aliens. Where do the aliens want to go? They want to come here. That's why the aliens crash here and then they seek asylum, intergalactic asylum. And that's what they have right now. So we have the aliens. We have the technology. Not really attractive you know, people. Well, they're not people, but you know what I'm saying. Not really attractive aliens, but because uh, they have these big black eyes and their their skin's very gray and they're naked, which is very strange and very off-putting for me. I don't like naked anything. I don't even like myself naked because when I shower, I shower in this suit and then it just dries. All right, next question. Uh, Winter Warlock asks, now that you've finished the big, beautiful wall and got the Mexico to pay for it, hmm. would you build a wall on the American-Canadian side of the American border? Absolutely. So if you didn't hear the question, since I finished the wall between Mexico and America, and his name is Winter Warlock. Winter Warlock, is that his name? That's a great name. It sounds like he's a biker. By the way, the bikers love me. The bikers love me. They love me. So will I build a wall between Canada and uh, uh, and uh, America. America. And listen, I had said this back when I was, before I was president, when I was president. We absolutely have to build a wall between Canada and America, America and Canada. And we'll call it the ice wall. We'll call it the ice wall because too many of these Canadians, everyone thinks it's the Mexicans are a problem. You cannot hit an American actor with a stick, but you find out they're Canadians. Did you know James T. Kirk was Canadian? Did you know Spock was Canadian? Did you know Jim Curry is Canadian? The list of Canadian actors, they're stealing acting jobs from American actors. And they never tell you they're Canadian. You have to find this out. I think it was, uh, uh, who's the guy, the wine guy we were talking about? Is it Perry, Luke Perry? Uh, some of the people on 90210. Jason Priestley. Jason Priestley. Jason Priestley. Did you know he's a Canadian? Mike Myers, a Canadian. All these people, all these people, they pretend. They pretend to be American. They're not American, folks. They look like us. They sound like us. They're not us. They're from another country, a socialist country. That's all they want is socialism. You know what I mean? And what is, what is you know, and, and by the way, by the way, I love Canada. I love Canada. It's like another country up there. But these people cannot be streaming in and taking our jobs. I mean, honestly, what is a Canadian? It's just an unarmed American with a crappy health care system. Go ahead from TikTok. Um, TikTok would like to know, do you like bubble baths? Do I like bubble baths? Yeah. You know, I have to tell you, I'm more of a shower guy. Melania, you know, early on tried to get me to do a bubble bath, but you know, I don't have time. I'm very busy. I'm very busy. Uh, but, but bubble baths sound good, but they're a mess. They're a mess. Because when you get out of a bubble bath, you have this film. You have this film on you, and then you have to get into the shower to get the bubble bath off, which doubles the amount of time. I like to get in and out on most things. Go ahead. We have a question over here. Um, yes. Oh, how are we doing on subscribers? Do we have a lot of subscribers? If you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. And if you're watching on the Tickety Talk, make sure you follow. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers on my friend John DiDomenico's uh, YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Go ahead. Uh, what breed are your attack guard dogs? What breed? They're very tiny. They're very tiny. I think we got we got screwed on that deal. We used to have very big we used to have very big uh, German Shepherd Great Danes. They were huge. You could ride them. You could ride them. They could you could put your golf uh, bag on there. But we had to uh, we had to cut back sadly because uh, so many people are uh, you know they they just they they're, they're making my life miserable. So we had to scale down to Chowinis. Chowinis. They, they bark a lot. They bark a lot, and they scare the Mexicans. They scare the Mexicans, and they're the ones we want to keep out of here, honestly. So go ahead. So we have a new goal of 50 hats. 50, 50 hats. hats. Does that include three. the first number? Nope. New hats. 
Wow. We have three so far. Mm -hmm. And if you get the 50 hats, then we're going to do the Trump dance. We'll do the Trump dance. Oh. No, no, don't. Don't get Not the Not yet. Well, I have to practice. I have to practice. <laughs> so ask them for some hats. Okay. I, I, hold on. There's the one hair that's driving me crazy. Oh, we just got, a, we just got hats just oh, for asking. We just got a hat just for asking. Yeah, do. Bang bang. Oh, bang, 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 he voted down, you know, we could have gotten rid of Obamacare, but McCain saved it. A Republican saved it. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Terrible Sarah people. Palin. Sarah, Sarah Palin. Palin. Sarah Palin. The, uh, the, the hot milk from Alaska. She's something else. So let me tell you I something. Palin. 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 Whatever. You know, but I like her. I like her. Go ahead. Do I like any of the Democrats? No, I don't like Gavin Annoying. I don't like Nancy Palooza. I don't like uh, Shifty Shift. And by the way, all three of those people, all three of those people are from California. California, and I get a bad rap about I want to talk to my Californians, because I know there's a lot of Republicans, you know, in Ocean County. Uh, right? Is it Ocean County? Orange County. Orange County. A lot of Republicans. And I was in Newport for an incredible Trump rally. It was absolutely incredible. I don't like a lot of the people in California. I just, but I love California. And I have a tremendous Trump golf course in Rancho Palos Verdes. Rancho Palos Verdes. I can say that because I'm bilateral. And, uh, and it sounds good. So it's a tremendous course. Make sure you go there. Over here. Next question. Uh, Tompi asks, have you ever had Brazilian hand surgery? I'm sure your hands used to be a lot smaller. Uh, my hands, uh, listen, I, look at these hands, folks. Look at these hands. These are not special lenses. These are huge, brilliant, billionaire hands. And you know what they say, big hands, big gloves, okay? So I, let's end that. Let's end two things on this press conference. I have very big masculine hands, believe me. And I have, this is my hair. Look, you can see it growing out of my head, okay? So this is my hair, these are my hands, and I'm not wearing shoes. So I hope, hope you're happy. Hope you're happy. Go ahead, over this here. This guy won't stop asking. Yes, go ahead. Trump, do you like the band Slipknot? Do I like the band Slipknot? Is that the, that's not the Five Finger Death Punch, right? It's a totally yes, different totally. band. I like Slip, I like the name. I like the name. Is that the band that was at January 6th, Slipknot? For calling out for Mike Pence. Is that them? Is that them? Because that would make perfect sense. Is Slipknot. Uh, but I don't know their music, but I like the name. I like the name. And for some reason, somebody must be listening to them. Right? Right? Maybe maybe Baron listens. Baron, do you listen to Slipknot? No? You don't listen to them? Okay. He's very tall, folks. He's very tall. We have a question over here. What name brand do you wear? What name brand do I wear? Well, I wear Trump suits, uh, which we had at Macy's for a little while. I mean, ne never a big business or anything like that, but that's what I like to wear. Uh, these are Trump ties, uh, and we have the Trump shirts, and I'm wearing, uh, you know, obviously the suit pants are, are Trump. Uh, and the shoes? And the shoes. Well, <laughs> right now they're, they're, uh, they're called elevator shoes. Um, <laughs> But right now they're just my socks because I like comfort. I like comfort. But it's it's interesting because I like all the name brands, but there's certain ones I won't buy. Go ahead. Uh, somebody wants to know on TikTok, will you continue to supply Puerto Rico with paper towels? Well, I have to tell you, you know, Puerto Rico better get its act together. They need to move the island. It seems to be right in the runway of these tremendously bad stores. I had said early on, if we get a lot of boats, we could move it pull it out of the way and get it out of the way of the, the line of the storm. Or they say in Rocky movies, eye of the tiger, eye of the tiger, because we got to get Puerto Rico out of there. And by the way, I love the Puerto Rican people. I'm from New York. There's more Puerto Rican. Again, largest export of Puerto Rico, Puerto Ricans to New York, okay? Because they don't go anywhere else for some reason. Go ahead. Scott Burke asks, Scott Burke, Scott or Burke. briefs or Speedos? Well, um, yeah, I'm not a Speedo guy. I'm not a Speedo guy, but I'm a tidy whitey guy. I like those. And Melania tried to get me to wear the boxer briefs, but I have very big thighs. 
I have very big thighs because I'm very athletic and it, it kind of squeezed my thighs. So I can't wear them on the golf course. I wear the briefs on the golf course and Melania has me wearing the boxer briefs when I'm home at a dinner or something like that. So uh, I think that's uh, that should satisfy your question. I'm not I'm not a commando guy, which if that's what you know, nothing like that. I like I like clothing. I like to be covered up. Like I said, when I shower, I wear a suit. I don't like to be naked. What can I tell you? Maybe with Stormy, but that's about it. Do we have a question over here for the TikTokers? So I know you've already touched on this, but we have a new people. Yeah, we have new people coming in all the time. That's the um, beauty of a press conference. About the aliens and what's going on. Well, I, I feel the aliens are a wonderful group of people. No one knows aliens the way I know aliens. I, I watched all of the episodes of the, uh, the, the thing with David Duchovny and the woman who thinks she's British, whatever her name is. What's her name? Does anyone know her name? I like Duchovny, though. He's great. But I know, I've always said they're out there, they're out there. But the fact of the matter is, they're not as smart as they pretend to be. They're good with spaceships, but when they get here, they don't know what the hell to do. Do you know what I mean? So, but I think we're going to take their technology, leverage their technology. You know, I think they've already started with uh, chat GPO. Uh, so right now, that's that they're using that. That's alien. By the way, if you're using ja uh, chat uh, DNC, then you are being, you know, that's aliens, folks. That's aliens. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Go ahead, over here. Michael asks, have you ever gotten a hole-in-one? Oh, Michael, this is a fantastic question. He asked if I've ever gotten a hole-in-one. I've gotten more holes-in-one than any other golfer in the history of golf. No one knows golf the way I know golf. That's why I build some of the best golf courses in the entire world. And you can see the videos of me golfing. They're online. You can see me sinking putts. You can see me getting holes-in-one. You can see me, sir, 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 you're the greatest golfer ever, sir. They, they know it and they mean it because I am that good. I am that good. It's true. I'm going to take, while we have a little break, I'm going to have a little bit of water. I'm going to have a little bit of water. Hold on. The water? This is tremendous. Yes, this is Trump ice. Trump ice. It's the wettest water you can buy legally. Legally. I'm sure there's wetter water, but this is the wettest water you can get legally because we get it from a, a aquifer an aquifer, which has the wettest water in the world. But we own the rights to that aquifer. No one else has it. Don't go looking for it. Uh, and that's where we get our tremendous Trump water, which you can get pretty much anywhere, anywhere, any of our wonderful properties. There we go. We have another question. Um, another one from Rudraksh Gandhar. Are you planning to run for president on Mars as well in the future? Well, I think I should be intergalactic president. I've said that from the beginning. I think I should be president of the entire solar system because here's the reason why. Even though we don't have any camps on Mars yet, don't you think if I say I'm the president of Mars that when people get there, we can say, I claim that. I claim that that was me. That was me. Because you know, eventually, we are going to get there. And that's why I started Space Force. Space Force. So we could protect Pluto, uh, Mars, uh, Venus, um, whatever the other planets are. Uh, what's the one? Saturn, which was a car, too, by the way. Which was a car. Do we have anybody? Do we have a question? Um... Because when you're first, you're the best, and I could be first. I, I sh we should just do the whole solar system. How do you feel about Bernie Sanders? Bernie Sanders, you know, I actually like Bernie, and he got a raw deal. Bernie got a raw deal because he should have got the nomination, not crooked Hillary. Bernie would have been great. It would have been the entire campaign between me and him would have been an episode of Seinfeld or Curb Your Enthusiasm, you know, because he's got that thing the way he speaks. You know, he, he would have been a lot of fun. She was so serious. Oh, my, Hillary was so serious. And she's a puppet. She's a puppet. She said, I was a puppet. I'm not a puppet. She was a puppet. Bernie wouldn't have been a puppet because Bernie has his own. Bernie, you know, Hillary wanted to be president to be president. Bernie wanted to be president to make this into a communist country. So he, I actually respect him more because he knew what the hell he was doing. And we have another question from the uh, press gallery. Uh, Bill D. asks, will you teach us how to drink water the way that you do please? Yes, absolutely. So you take a bottle. Usually it's Fiji. Usually, I like Fiji. I like Fiji because the bottles are square. 
which is very smart. And I, can we switch our bottles? Okay, they're gonna talk to our manufacturing people. So what you do is you open the bottle, take the cap off, you have to be very careful. And you don't, this is why I drink the way I drink, because these ties are, don't wanna get water on a tie, especially the wettest water, because it leaves the wettest stain. And you don't want the wettest stain, or any stain for that matter. So you grab the bottle like this, you turn a little, right? And you kind of lean in because you don't want to get it on the tie or down here. That thing looks worse than like when Joe, when Sleepy Joe dribbles the coffee and all that, he looks like a, an old man. So then, and then it, oh, I, you know what? All that work, and I still got it on my lips. But you see what I'm doing there. It's very smart. I don't know who owns Fiji, but I know that DeSantis, not DeSantis, DeSanti, whatever that water is that Pepsi puts out, that's crap. That's total Dasani. crap. Dasani. They take tap water and they run it through a Brita filter. Oh, God. What do we got going on? Delivery. Oh, listen, this has been absolute chaos today. It's been absolute chaos today. So we have someone who's coming into the uh, the press room area with some questions. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. How is everything? It's FedEx. It's on HBO where... Um, where, uh, what's his name played, played me, Brendan Gleeson. Brendan Gleeson, who's a great Irish actor, who's an amazing Irish actor, but I don't think he really captured me. And then Johnny Depp did a movie where he played me. I definitely don't think he captured me. I would want someone who could really play me in a way that is just so, there's a young actor, young guy named John D. Domenico. I think he could really capture really capture me in a way that no one's ever get, but he's short, he's only like 5'8", he's only like 5'8". He'd have, they'd have to put him on the rack and stretch him. But if not him, Christian Bale. I think Christian Bale would be great. You know, someone someone like that would be absolutely amazing, but they'd have to get shorter actors because he's not that tall either. Silence. Silence, it's okay. <laughs> And that happens at my room. All my friends are texting me. This is absolutely fantastic. This is really wonderful. That means people all over the world are watching. All over the world are watching. People in London and obviously India and in Florida, in Georgia, in Texas. Who do we have a question from? Um, from Zuru Babble. Zuru Babble. Zuru Babble. Zuckerberg's threads. Oh, threat! You know what? I, 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 you know, listen, listen. The proof is in the pudding with anything. The guys who came up with Twitter were brilliant. Um, uh, you know, Elon is brilliant. I don't. I wouldn't have paid forty-two billion dollars for a company that doesn't make money. But he's brilliant because he made it possible to, you know, to have free speech again. Truth Social, I think, is fantastic. Obviously, I think Truth is amazing uh but threads who cares i mean honestly who cares about threads is anybody even on threads is anyone on threads and what a stupid name i hear threads i think it's 1975 how are your threads what are you wearing well you know that's uh, it, it's I, I get it that it's threads and all these things are threads but it just doesn't it's a dumb name it's a dumb name and uh if you get on instagram they force you to be on threads did you know that no one tell, tells you about that. And if you don't want threads after you set threads up, you're stuck with it for the rest of your life. And you have to pass it on to your children. A lot of people don't know that. You have to pass on threads to your children or an executor of your estate. Uh, Nurse Meow asks, was the wheel really invented before the wall? Was the wheel invented before the wall? Well, I'll tell you what. I think wheels and walls work. We've seen it again and again. I went over to Israel because I moved the, the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And you know what they have over there? They have a wall. They have a wall in Jerusalem. It's called the Western Wall. And I think that's the best wall. I call that the best Western Wall. And I know that it works because I was in Jerusalem. And guess what? There's no Mexicans in Jerusalem. Not a one. Not even a Taco Bell. So that proves that walls work. As far as wheels, I think wheels came first because to move the rocks to the wall site, you need a wheelbarrow or something like that. So wheels probably came first. But you know what no one never talks about? Fire. No one talks about fire, because the guy who invented fire, that guy was like a rock star. I'm sure he did very, very well. 
if you know what I mean. Go ahead. Stallion asks, thoughts on electric cars? Thoughts on electric cars? You know, <clears throat> here's the thing. I made this country energy independent, other than the, you know, 20 million barrels uh, that we needed in reserve. But here's the thing about electric cars. You need the sun. You need the sun for electricity. And what happens if it's a cloudy day? Your flying electric car can't take off. But fossil fuels made from dinosaurs who we love. We love the dinosaurs. We love Jurassic Park. We love the velociraptors who walked around and, you know, terrified the children. But we've got plenty of dinosaurs. We've got plenty of oil here. We've got the fracking. Uh, we've got many, many ways to make oil in this country. We don't have to bring it in. Why is Germany bringing in oil from Russia? Russia, you know, uh, what's her name? Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel was, I don't like Trump. I, I don't like Putin. I don't like Trump. I don't like Putin. Then why'd you take the oil from Putin, right? Right? You see what I'm saying? So I don't think we need electric cars. I don't think we need wind. Why do we need wind? Did you know those things give people cancer? The sound gives people ear cancer. It's true. Next question. Uh, from Sometime Alias, will you build Trump theme parks? I think Trump theme parks would be absolutely incredible. We had a couple of them laid out. You know what I mean? We had to, you know, imagine a White House, imagine a golf course, a really just a fun, fun place. We could have, a, you know, like at Disney where they got the thing for the little kids. Ivanka could develop that. We could have a hunting area that, um, that Don Jr., you can go in, like little kids could hunt big game, like kill an elephant. Well, not an elephant because that's a Republican. Kill a donkey, you know what I mean? Uh, assassinate a squirrel. Something along those lines, I think, would be really a lot of fun and teach kids about the Second Amendment. It's true. I think that would be great. And then, you know, um, uh, Eric could do something. And then and then uh, Baron could do, like, a basketball camp. I think we could have uh, make a lot of money and have multiple Trump theme parks around the world. Around the world. And then at night for dining, uh, you know, because they do this at Disney, but we would have Trump wines, which are really incredible wines. And people know that. You know, that people joke about it, but they're very good wines. They're in Virginia. They're in Virginia. Yes, we have another question. Uh, Michael Miller asks, are you going to reopen Trump University? Well, I, I've thought about reopening Trump University because I learned so much. Sadly... Uh, a terrible, terrible lawsuit uh, was was you know put against us, put against us, and um, I, I had to pay out twenty five million dollars and admit the fraud. And let me tell you something: there was no fraud. There was no fraud. Even though we admitted the fraud, we had to do that to settle the case because I don't like settling, and I always win, and I won in this case, but I had to give out $25 million. But the fact of the matter is, graduates of Trump University are now in the highest positions of government, uh, business, manufacturing. It's really incredible, and obviously real estate because that was what it was originally based on. And no one knows real estate the way I know real estate. Believe me, we have a question over here. Yes, we want to know, what do you think of hydroxy? Hydroxychloroquine. I, I think I was taking that. They gave me a cocktail of stuff when I was in the hospital. I felt I ran out of there. I felt amazing. I was going to rip my shirt open on the balcony of the White House and just show like a Superman thing. So hydroxy, a lot of people, a lot of people said a lot of good things about it. Uh, I think, you know, do what you do. Be your own doctor. You don't need doctors. Doctors aren't that great. What do doctors know? What do doctors... I mean, I want one if I have a bullet wound, but everything else, just do your... Listen to Joe Rogan. You can get most of your medical information from Joe Rogan, who's practically a doctor. I call him Dr. Rogan. You know what I mean? And I call him Dr. Rogaine because that helps with the, the thinning up top. Do we have a question over here? Uh, Patrick Garden asks, do your golden toilets have fluffy covers? Oh, you, you know what? We we had the fluffy covers, but then I thought that we, when Melania moved in, she thought that was very uh, 70s and very 80s. So we got rid of the fluffy covers, and then we had to have a guy make the uh, toilet lids out of gold, but they're so heavy. They're so heavy. So we went with a, a wood and then painted it gold, and we have tremendous... And by the way, my toilets have incredible flushing, incredible flush. You want to get up before you flush one of the toilets at Mar-a-Lago or, or, or it becomes a boudet, a boudet. And people love the boudets, but I still like paper. 
I still like paper. I want I want paper between my my cheeks, if you know what I'm saying. But we have incredible showers with a lot of water pressure. Not these phony baloney showers and toilets at that Obama. We, the, 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 I had to flush ten times at the White House when I first moved in. I had to flush ten times. Go ahead. Uh, Stallion asks. What are your thoughts on AI? What are my thoughts on AI? We've been talking about AI a lot. And I think, you know, did you know Joe Biden uh, plagiarized his speeches? And that was before AI. Can you imagine now? He's just going to go in and go, oh, the economy's great. The economy's great. Not that he knows how to use a computer, because I know. But he's going to put that. And that's going to be his speech at the State of the Union. He's going to have AI write his speech. If you have to have AI, GTO, write your stuff. Let me tell you something. You're not smart. I've written hundreds of, well, I never write them. I just stand here and talk. But you know what I'm saying. I can stand for two hours and give a tremendous speech, and then they write it down later. And that's not AI. That's not AI. And that's what the aliens are using to think you're smart. The aliens want you to think you're smart, but you're not smart because I'm a stable genius. And very few people are smart. Very few people are as smart as me. But the aliens are going to make you think you're smart with the alien uh, GTO. Believe me. Believe me. Um, user nine nine eight seven nine three nine eight seven two five four seven. That's a catchy name. Um, must, have put, must have taken minutes coming up with that one. Wants to know: Would you ever consider opening up your own McDonald's franchise? My own McDonald's. You know what? That's an absolutely fantastic question. I. You know how I feel about McDonald's. I think McDonald's. Why do I love McDonald's? Everyone's like, sir, sir, sir. Why do you love McDonald's? You can have any food in the world. Consistency consistency. I can get a cheeseburger in New York City, a, a quarter pounder, and I can get that in Los Angeles, which is a dump, by the way. Or I can go to Texas. I get that. The, the, it's always the same. And the fries, I don't care what anybody says. McDonald's has the best fries. People have told me about In-N-Out Burger when I'm on the West Coast. I like In-N-Out, but McDonald's is the best. And I think, here's what I think, there's a lot of tours coming through the White House. They don't make a lot of money. It's not, it's not like a money grab or anything. But I think if we put a McDonald's inside the White House, we could make so much money, so much money. You know, the guys on the roof with the sniper, they'll come down and eat. And the Secret Service, the guys in the booth on uh, 16, they'll come in and get something. And the breakfast is great. I love the pancakes. That's really incredible. So I think a McDonald's inside the White House would be absolutely tremendous. I hear the franchise fees are very high, but what do I do? I negotiate deals. I negotiate deals. I would negotiate the best McDonald's franchise deal. And by the way, the, the, the money that they make from knowing that in the White House, Trump as a McDonald's, it's going to be like this bing bong, bong, bing, bing, bong. They'll be, you know, making the food so fast, it'll be incredible. And I'm going to have good people. I'm going to have good people at the White House McDonald's. So that's a big yes to McDonald's in the White House. We have another question. Petri Pellanini asks, will you be back into casino business? I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, I, uh, I, I opened a tremendous Trump hotel in Las Vegas. It's probably the biggest most beautiful hood. If you drive down the Las Vegas Strip, and many Americans have been there, you drive down the Strip, what do you see? You see the Trump Tower Hotel. It's a fantastic, beautiful hotel, uh, which it's hot here. It's hot there in Las Vegas. And uh, as you know, they have pool parties. And at the pool in the Las Vegas Trump Tower, we have the wettest water, just like we have right here. The wettest water is there, and it's very deep. It's very deep, and people love it. And the pool parties have a lot of attractive women. Just so you know, we have a no-uggo policy. So you're only going to see beautiful women at the Trump pool. Question uh, over I here. I just want to update you. We have 7,500 people on this 7,500 oh, people. This is absolute. Hello, TikTok. Go, go. Uh, by 6 million people. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, join me on TikTok. I have 6 million followers there. If you're watching on TikTok, Go over to YouTube. We're going for 100,000 subscribers, and we'd love to have you from here to there. Feel free to ask me a question. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions, any questions at all, except that one. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Current question is, what is your skincare routine? Mm. So what I do is, um, at night, 
I use uh, a really high-end soap. Uh, I think it's French. It's called Dial. Dial. Uh, it's really incredible. I use that. It smells really good. It smells really good. Keeps me from sweating. I don't use deodorant. I don't use deodorant. And uh, people go, sir, 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 you don't use deodorant. No, I use baby powder. I use baby powder because I baby my skin. I baby my skin. And then I take, uh, I wash it off because I have to wear like a sunblock uh, 75, whatever it is. So I make sure I wash all that off. And then what I do in the morning is I take, I just take a little bit of, I take a little bit of Cheetos and I grind those up and I do a fine powder. And then I just kind of put that on. So I smell good. I look good. And if I go like that, I taste good because I feel fantastic. And that gives me that orange glow. People think it's carrots. I won't touch carrots. Believe me. And there's no carrots in my diet, but there are cheeseburgers. There are pickles. There are uh, cheese itself, there are buns, there's maybe a little bit of lettuce. I don't like too much lettuce. And some tomatoes for a little bit of tang. And by the way, I like ketchup. I, like a, I don't like salsa. I do not want to be forced to eat salsa, which Joe Biden is forcing us to do. He wants to ban ketchup. He wants to ban mayonnaise. He's going to force us to eat salsa. I mean, salsa is okay with chips, but I don't, you know, I don't want to be forced to put it on a cheeseburger. If you know what I'm talking about, do we have any more questions? We've got our wonderful people. I want to say to everybody, thank you so much. We've been on now for an hour and 13 minutes, which I think is fantastic. Just showing you that I, Sleepy Joe, would be like on the floor right now. I am still here. I'll answer any question. I'm not dodging questions about you know about anybody, about my sons, uh, about my uh, beautiful wife. I don't dodge questions like he does. Where's Hunter? Where's Hunter? I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead with your question. Uh, Mark asks, is it true you're changing the Ten Commandments? Well, here's the thing about the Ten Commandments, from what I understand. Uh, because no one knows the Bible the way I know the Bible. And what's my favorite book? It's The Art of the Deal. My second favorite book, The Bible. And it would be first. The Bible would be first, but I'm not in the Bible. I'm not in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? But, but I was told by my evangelical leaders that I'll be in the newest edition of the Bible, which will move it from second place to first place. But when it comes to the Ten Commandments, a lot of them are very, um, they're, they're, very they're not clear. They're not clear. And did you know there were originally 20 commandments? Or were there 15? Whatever it was. Um, Moses dropped, and he, he, Moses, what a loser. The guy's given one job, one job, and he drops the tablets and shatters them. So we really don't know. Maybe the first commandment is not the one that we think is first. And maybe the 12th commandment is not the one that we think is the 12th. Maybe there's another one that interprets all of them. But we'll never know. We'll never know because of incompetence. Go ahead. Tom Dagg asks, Mr. Trump, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. My favorite movie. There's so many great films. I think it's Gone with the Wind. I think it's Gone with the Wind. I like, that's when men were men and women were women and people knew their place. People knew their place. I love the oldies. And believe it or not, I like musicals. I like musicals. I love the West Side Story. Um, I love South Pacific. So again, men were men, women were women. People knew their place. They're the kind of movies I like. You have a question over here? Yes, um, President Trump, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream is just vanilla. Vanilla. I don't need chocolate. I don't need strawberry. Just give me two scoops of vanilla, which we did at the White House. Uh, you know, people would, you know, we'd have ice cream for dinner, and uh, I'd get two scoops. Everyone else got one scoop. And no, none of this caramel or chocolate or nuts or anything. I'm a purist. I'm a purist. I like just vanilla ice cream. Two, two scoops of vanilla ice cream. That's all I need to get me through the day. You know, other than that, then you get gassy. I don't want to be gassy, especially on the golf course the next day. Because these guys, some of these guys, they eat so poorly. And you're on the golf course. It sounds like, you know, like, like car horns. It's terrible. Go ahead. Any questions? How are we doing? I guess we should wrap up. Did we hit 100,000? Yeah, well, how, how will the TikTok people find you on YouTube? So if you go to YouTube and just look up my name, uh, not my name, my, my friend's name, um, John D. Domenico, you'll put him in and just put in John D. Domenico. So that's D-I-D-O. 
M-E-N-I-C-O. And if you're watching this on TikTok, just go up. You'll see. You'll see it's right there. In the profile. In the profile. And you can go right to YouTube and subscribe. We're going for 100,000 subscribers. I've got 6 million on TikTok. Thank you so much for watching on the Tickety Talk. We got a lot new TikTok uh, coming out. Some wonderful stuff on YouTube. We've got tons and tons of stuff uh, coming out. Some long form. We do the short form on TikTok. We do the long form on the YouTube. Either place, you're going to get lots and lots of comedy from uh, from me. From me, and I love being me. It's a tremendous place to be. It's really, really incredible. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. You're absolutely incredible. We're going to start doing these regularly on the run-up to the election. We'll be here every Friday, except the days that the landscapers are here. We're going to probably move it on those days. But we'll let you know far in advance when we are on, and we're going to probably start giving, doing giveaways giveaways oh and before i go i just oh well we'll forget that i can't get it without uh, getting from behind the the lectern but we're gonna have some great stuff to give away in the future so thank you so much everybody you guys were absolutely tremendous have a fantastic weekend believe me